When it comes to stem cell therapy, there's this common belief floating around that more stem cells automatically means better results. But the truth? It's not just about packing in as many cells as possible. The real game changer is how active and functional those stem cells actually are. Let me break it down. The activity of a stem cell is basically its ability to renew itself, transform into other cell types, and kickstart the healing process in damaged tissues. So if you have a ton of stem cells, but most of them are old, stressed, or just plain tired, they're not going to do much good. On the flip side, even a smaller group of highly active, healthy stem cells can work wonders. They settle into damaged areas, multiply, and really drive that regeneration you're hoping for. Now what makes a stem cell active? There's a lot at play. Everything from the environment around the cell, think nutrition, low stress, and the right mix of growth factors, to the signals and nutrients it receives, these all shape how well a stem cell can perform. That's why, in top clinics and cutting-edge research, the focus isn't just on numbers. It's about making sure every stem cell is as healthy and ready to go as possible. Researchers are even exploring ways to boost stem cell activity before they're used, like priming them with nutrients, tweaking their genes, or exposing them to certain growth factors. All of this is aimed at getting the absolute best results from each and every cell. So, next time you hear about stem cell therapy, remember, it's quality over quantity. The most effective treatments are the ones that prioritize healthy, highly active cells, not just more of them.